Hey, what is going on, pros and pros? This is KMJH23 here, and welcome to another drinks review. Today, it's going to be on Apple Tizer. So, I've got this particular drink out of Sainsbury's, and it cost me 69p. So, I'll give you guys a full 360 of the can. So, we have a pretty much full green or dark green can with a bit of a light, you know, a lighter green around the top, and obviously lighter green for the apple. We have posh, you know, posh writing. As you see, we have nice font for the Apple Tizer logo and just you know kind of just nicer writing on the front and a bag we have all the ingredients and stuff on the bottom we have nothing and on the top we have everything standard as well so appetizer original quality since 1966 100% apple juice gently sparkling no preservatives and just as a note the can has that weird I don't know it, it, it feels like it has that rough texture if that makes sense it doesn't feel like like a normal like Coke can, it has like that, you know, that rough texture to it, if that makes sense. So anyways, sparkling apple juice from Concentrate. Ah, so it's from Concentrate, it doesn't tell you that on the front. Sugar content is 10.5 uh, grams per 100 ml, so again, it's about the average for sugar. Uh, let's see. Ingredients, carbonated apple juice from Concentrate, 100%. How can you have 100% apple juice if it's from Concentrate? Unless it's 100% concentrated apple juice. Wait, is that even a thing? 100% concentrated juice? I don't know. I guess, I don't know, that doesn't make sense, does it? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's see, they are, let's see, of course these are owned by Coca-Cola, which is interesting, Apple Tizer. And interestingly, this is one of your five a day. 150 mil represents one of your five a day portions, which is always good. It's always good to get one of your five a day in cans like this, as it says right there. So, you know, you can just get one of your five a day out of this, but again, to be honest, for all the sugar that's in it, you're better off just drinking reduced sugar, apple juice, and get one of your five day. That way, you're just eating an apple itself. So, anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got cup. Let's go straight to it. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. So, I've got a feeling, of course, it's going to taste like apple juice. It's going to have that apple juice color, and it's going to smell like apples, but nevertheless, it could be maybe a varied style. And of course, it is fizzy. Oh, almost went over me. Okay, interesting, interesting. So it is along the lines of the standard standard apple colour, but a lot, lot, lot lighter. Almost got no colour whatsoever, but it definitely is along, uh, you know, the apple lines, but pretty much, you know, pretty much see-through. Uh, it's like I say, it's fizzy, of course. Seems fairly fizzy, but not too fizzy. The smell. Oh, it does smell of apple. It smells really strong of apples, actually. But nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. So it definitely tastes of apples. Uh, it isn't too fizzy to be honest with you guys, which is generally bad. I don't like drinks that are too fizzy. So de definitely taste of apples. The apple taste, it tastes of like a more of an, a nicer, relaxed apple drink. Like not maybe as strong on the old apple, but you know, it doesn't taste too sweet. doesn't taste too artificial or fake or anything like that. It actually tastes of a nice apple flavor to be honest with you guys. But yeah, that is nice. Overall, you know, it's just another nice, you know, fizzy apple drink. Again, I don't know, like in a blind taste test, what would be better, like Tango Apple or, you know, like this, for example. I'm not too sure, but nevertheless, it's a nice fizzy apple drink at the end of the day. So definitely gives a thumbs up for me. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.